Hey Squeaky, I haven't seen you on every LVJ in a while. This is usually 277's work. Yeah, I usually pull the garbage trains. This is his work most of the time, but he decided to take the day off. Apparently talking to a Conroe Dash 9 is more important than doing his work, I guess. <sighs> days off? I never take days off. We're a great big rolling railroad. And if all engines start taking days off, then we won't be a rolling railroad at all, because all the trains will be stopped. I guess I have to agree. I like working hard and pulling trains. What's the fun in just sitting in the shed doing nothing all day? Hey look, I see a rail fan down there. You don't see many rail fans coming up to this yard. You should go ahead and give them a horn show. Uh, I'm really not in the mood right now. Oh wow, that's great Nathan. Cool to see you got a new job. Working here at the lumber mill will be really good for you. Anyways, I gotta get going. We gotta get this local back to the main yard. The rail yard manager told me he has a special job for me later today. It's not fair. I want a special job too. You're always late, so that's why you're not getting a special job. That's not true. What are you talking about? Hey, knock it off. It's not her fault. It's Union Pacific. They always clog up the entire system and waste all of our time. Well, you do have a point, but you can't blame Union Pacific for everything. The average Union Pacific train only costs us five minutes of time, and most Amtrak trains are more than five minutes late, so you're losing time someplace else other than just Union Pacific. Roses are red, violets are blue, I like Fruit Loops. I'm telling you, it's just a disgrace. Lily pulls off her trains the best she can, but then Union Pacific trains clog up our system and make her delayed for hours. Expect more Union Pacific trains coming through here in the future. They're currently working on receiving traffic routes to run here. 